Cosplay Stitch and Seam. I'm Pannon. I'm Be Fire. And I'm David. Oh yeah, the gang's all here. Back at it again, yeah. boys. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I'm digging the enthusiasm. Very good, very good. If any of y'all at home want to share some of yours, you can do that at cosplaystitchandseam at gmail.com or... Or go to the website. You can fill out the form there to contact us at cosplaystitchandseam.com or... Go to the Facebook page. And while you're on the Facebook page, tell us what you're working on. Join our community of fantastic crafters who want to see you grow and build your things. And if you're not a big fan of Facebook, we do have a Discord. You can find the Discord link on our website and join our fantastic community. We have channels for everything. We've got gaming. We've got manga. We've got anime. We've got TVs and movies. We've got even a channel just for the last voice. So come on over. Come hang out. Come say hi. We got memes. Uh, and memes so many memes <laughs> so many so many memes um and while you're on the internet if you want to help out the show there are many different ways that you can do that first tell a friend second leave us a review and a rating on any of the apps that let you do that we appreciate any of that since we don't pay to advertise it's all word of mouth and if you tell a friend they're gonna tell a friend or at least they're gonna listen and then maybe leaving a review will help us with the algorithm gods shining shining happily upon our little podcast here and if you have a few bucks laying around we do have a coffee kofi cosplay stitch and we also have a uh, a patreon uh, patreon.com forward slash cosplay stitch for three dollars a month we'll give you a shout out every single episode and for five dollars a month you can join our we uh monthly D D live stream cosplay chronicles <laughs> <laughs> we are so bad at that <laughs> a good time so, so if you want to have some fun and enjoy some like silliness and do some fun D D campaigns because like man these guys like they they, they come freaking swinging with great quality i i'm always <laughs> always surprised and they always like are just so much fun to play with <laughs> bless you for saying so. <laughs> it's a lot of fun i will say that it's a lot of fun and y'all should join us speaking of ways to join us and fun things you can do um Attention all creators, if you want to share some of your projects, cosplay related, uh, cosplay products and things like Fox Beauty does for us, um, make sure you contact us, reach out. We love highlighting uh, cosplayers and people in our community who get creative and put fun things out that we can all share. Um, Speaking of, make sure you do check out foxbeauty.store and use that promo code Stitch and Seam to get 10% off your purchase of all vegan, not tested on animal products. Woo! Yay! Woo! Podcast, <laughs> guys. Bye. Yay. That's it. That's the end of the show. Bye. Um, we're this. Ooh, it feels like it's been forever since we did like a state of the podcast. Yeah, it it's has. Been so long. Like, we've had so many great like people to come on, say hi, tell us what yeah. we're working on. Oh man! Um, and yeah, you're absolutely right. It feels strange. And also, did you guys realize that we're coming up on 200 episodes soon? Holy cats! Yeah, I know. That I was like, insane. "Oh my gosh, it makes me feel old." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we gotta do something fun for that. Yeah, look I'd... how far we've come. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Tim in our Discord server was like, "I just listened to the Ask Us Anything episode," and I was like, "That was so much fun. We should do another one of those soon." That would so be that, great. Mm, I, I might, I might suggest that we do that for our our, our two hundred. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I would love to do one of those. Hey. If anyone has suggestions about what we should do with the the ask anything kind of stuff, I can't words. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, send in requests. I'm terrible today. <laughs> that makes it more fun. Oh yes, yes. But yes, so, I freaking love doing that. So yes. Yeah. So how's everybody been? What you been up to? I <laughs> I have not I was been doing anything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we keep talking at the same time. I'm so sorry, David. Go ahead, Mercedes. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, day camps are over. They're over, and I'm so glad. <laughs> Yay! You working on any uh, cosplay projects, Mercedes? Uh yes, actually, I Ooh. am going to make. Uh, finally, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> the Drifter from Hyperlight Drifter. That Whoa. is my hyper focus right now at hey, last i didn't realize the game was two player <laughs> i know i know i'm jumping ahead a little bit but i i just started hyper light 
Like Ooh, I'm nice. yes. like three or four hours in, and I am quite excited to be playing it. It's very pretty. Good, good, good. It's so pretty. I love the music. I love the look of it. I love the story. I love so much about it. <laughs> Um, I love the story behind why the game was made. Like, it's just excellent. Uh, don't tell me yeah. any of it until I, I'm more done with it. Sounds good. I'm down for it. I'm down good for plan. it. Good plan. Um, I need to check my mail today, actually, because I uh, actually ordered the art book so that I can further find inspiration for my cosplay. <laughs> Ooh. What about you, Panon? Yeah, Panon. Um, let's see. I have been busy... Uh, well, not busy, busy and not busy. I don't know. Um, I've been recovering from my ankle reconstruction surgery, uh, back and able to like actually walk around without a big old cast on my foot, which has been nice. Um, it did make it very tricky trying to move, uh, about two weekends ago. Uh, but I am in my first ever actual home owning situation, which is really amazing and exciting. Um, I'm jealous. Trying- That's I awesome. <laughs> um, I'll probably take some uh, pictures of like the crafting space so you can see it and all the fun storage stuff. And that's exciting. Um, but it has put like a, a little hiatus on working on stuff because I it's all in boxes or it has mm. been all in boxes. Um, I'm really close to getting set up, though. Um, I'm trying to figure out what my next project will be. I really want to pick up on some of the ones I've kind of left by the wayside for a bit, uh, like uh, Kongiku from Muramasa um, and the Weiwushan I've been working on for forever now because um, they're both in the like embroidering phase and I mm-hmm. need to like just sit down and put on a show and just sew like the wind. Uh, and then they'll be ready, <laughs> but I haven't been doing that. Uh, instead, I pulled out a box yesterday of like oven bake clay, and Livy and I just spent the evening making like tiny figures and like game tokens for playing card games <laughs> out of play. Because uh, it was like, oh, I forgot I had this. Isn't that how like unpacking everything goes? You're just like, oh, I didn't know I had this. Now what do I do with this? Uh, <laughs> what that's do? Like the best worst part about like right? deep cleaning is just like, oh my gosh, I remember this. And then yes. you get distracted and you're like, well, now I've lost half an hour because I was playing with my old toys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, I'm sure y'all know that I love thrifting and we have a local store here in Utah that I always frequent because it's like the it's like a surplus store so they get all of these uh i guess incomplete shipping things and all kinds of stuff so you never know what they'll have at the store um and last time i went i actually found a brand new airbrush (gasps) Uh, i know i'm super excited and it was like $28 $28 and it was like a Ooh. over $100 set and I was like yes please wow <laughs> so I'm really excited to try that out um once I have space to do that um yeah I feel like it would be fun to do like a a live stream of just going thrifting <laughs> oh my gosh you would, oh that would, would be, would be way fun. So funny because like I guarantee that if we were to do it like you went, uh, I would go, Mercedes would go, and we'd be like, yeah, we came up with some pretty good stuff, and then Panon would walk out of the store, like, <laughs> arms heavy, filled with stuff of, like, oh, I, I found <laughs> this map to the, to El Dorado, and then we actually found El Dorado in the store. <laughs> okay, the well, last time I went, I actually, so I got the airbrush, and then mm-hmm. I actually found plushes of Tifa and Aerith from Final Fantasy VII Remake. What? And they're like the official like Square Enix ones and they're adorable and they're usually like 40 plus online and I found them for about $15 each, which oh I had gosh. to get the girls, of course. Well, that um, is ridiculous. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> um, and then today, today, yeah, I went today just because I had not been in forever and they had a bunch of like Pokemon and Magic and Digimon and so... Yeah, I just have like the magic aura of bring me all the good thrifting items. You, you gotta let me know next time you're going because yeah. I, I got to go with you because I because uh, Quinn and I went when Quinn mm-hmm. Quinn uh, as an update to the podcast. My partner flew in as a surprise for my Yay! birthday. Um, 
And uh, I was so shocked when they showed up at my doorstep that my brain could not conceive that that was my person. Oh, that's so cute. Like, I went, hi. And and sh- they just kind of smiled at me and then made a joke <laughs> about like, oh, this is a bad idea. I guess I'll leave because my brain just couldn't interpret it. And I was like, oh, wait, that is my person. <laughs> Yes, that's so cool. So happy that you got to do that. It was really fantastic. Um, Yeah. But we went to NPS and we we found a few cute things and like found a uh, like found a few things that I was like, yeah, maybe I don't know. And just the hearing about how you find like all these fun things that are so unique. Like, didn't you find a Samus suit for Mercedes at the same store? (laughs) Yep. One the one in the past the brush challenge that that we did. Oh my uh, that video yeah that's the one that's the one and it fits and like those, a glove and david squirtle kigu also oh my gosh yes i, I love yes. that kigu so much <laughs> oh my goodness pennon they had so, a yeah, bunch so, of jojo t-shirts too when i went oh they were goodness. all size small so i was very Aww. sad oh my gosh um, <laughs> yeah pennon wins the thrifting yeah. although <laughs> yard sailing was sadie Oh, yeah, Sadie is boss at that. Oh, my goodness. I, like, just tag along with her, and suddenly I've got, uh, you know, a new serger for 50 bucks. Brand new. Um, (laughs) I have never uh, met a fiercer haggler than Sadie. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. It terrifies me. It's like, she gets in there, and I'm just like, I can't, I can't do that. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) I got a pile of pleather ones too. I'll I'll keep to that price. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Sadie's like, "Mm, but I only have this much. And I'm like, how do you do that? Like, I don't, I just, it's not my domain. Speaking (laughs) of thrifting and stuff that's for a good price and whatnot, um, I found a website recently that supports like recycle, upcycle stuff. And it's kind of like when people post the classifieds ads for for their stuff online, but it's mm-hmm. all free. So this, the website is freecycle, F-R-E-E, cycle.org. Um, and you can go on there and people in it'll show people in your like zip code area that are just giving stuff away for free. Um, I got a bunch of like new cabinets for my craft room. We actually got a new couch for our <laughs> new house. Holy um, crap. So, so yeah, I am all about looking for, for thrifty things. Wow. Oh, well, that's way cool. Yeah, that, that's really fun. I now no longer have any motivation to do anything else other than look at this website. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, it's very tempting. Bruh. Do they got uh, puzzles? <laughs> so I, I have been uh, massively consuming all this media that I possibly can, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I am it. rewatching Neon Genesis Evangelion, um, and I'm listening to a companion podcast called Get Animated, which is made by the same people who do uh, Get Played, and mm-hmm. it is so much fun listening to these three comedy writers talk about it. And one of them is like, she <laughs> watches it every single year. Like she watches the entirety <laughs> of it at least once a year. Wow. And so she's devoted. And these other two, they've never seen it before. So she's like dancing around, making jokes about like things that are going to come up. And like, yeah, no, uh, the people who who have watched this before know exactly what I'm talking about. And it feels like <laughs> I'm in on the joke. And it's so good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, watch Neon Genesis Evangelion and then talk to funny people about it and then go, wow, this is. <laughs> This is heavy stuff. And then realize it's still an anime and it makes, you know, a, a bunch of really poor decisions and fan service. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yep. And then I've been watching Sandman. I don't know if you guys have watched the Sandman. Um, I am in the middle of it right now. I loved the comics back in the day when I read them. And I have been just really enjoying uh, the live action adaptation. Have I'll you probably made it be to- watching it this weekend. Have you made it to yeah. the diner episode yet, Pannon? I did. I actually just finished episode six, like right before this episode, The Sound of Her Wings, which is oh. probably my favorite one ever. I have to like bring the tissue for that one. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, the diner one was really interesting. Um, I, I, I don't know. I felt like the comic was way more 
horrifying <laughs> in that regard because <laughs> that that whole thing was mm. well yeah like uh, this is this is going to turn into a segment in the show where where i turn it into comic trades monthly for, for a few minutes <laughs> like the idea of the comic is like the individual and on en mass of mm-hmm. the the what's going on right but right. then in the show it's like still individual uh and they kind of like separate everybody into groups and then mm-hmm. sometimes they like mix the group ever so slightly and it's mm-hmm. so fun to see how they can still evoke a lot of the same feelings and I, it mm. became like maybe this is my favorite one like maybe wow. so far i think this might be one of my favorite stories that they've covered wow nice yeah cool um I have watched Prey, the new Predator film. Oh, I need to watch that Ooh. one. You should check out because there's there's a lot of gore. Uh-huh. So check out does the dog die.com on that one. Um spoiler alert, dog does not die. The oh, dog good. is fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's the a website thing. for that. Yeah, it does the dog die.com. I just mentioned yeah. it. <laughs> oh yeah, you did. Huh? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you know what? Day camps just ended, and I'm still like trying to recover my brain cells. Okay, <laughs> oh my goodness, good. um, it's just a little longer processing. But it's, man, it was yeah, <laughs> it's so good. The the there's a there's like a like a really long one shot that it's like very clearly like they do a few tricks to hide the cut. But man, it's such a good scene like oh, where nice. she's taking out a bunch of like bad guys in a row. Uh-huh. Ooh, so good, gory but good. I keep hearing yeah. like amazing things about the because uh, you can watch it with a Comanche dub uh-huh, with, yeah. in the like actual language, and I was like, that sounds really cool. It's still a dub, so just keep mm-hmm. that in mind. But sure, mm-hmm. um, yeah, no, it's it's super pretty. I highly recommend it, and it just kind of like the entire time I was like, oh yeah, that could be Colorado, easy. Um, nice. I think they filmed it in Quebec. Um, wow! So super, super cool. pretty, super, super fun. Um, I wouldn't say it's as scary. It's definitely gory, but mm-hmm. I had a lot of fun with it. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm going in expecting predator levels of gore, so mm-hmm. smart. I think I'll be good. Very smart. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to watch it though. Um, yeah. let's see. Oh, I ended up binge watching The Boys. Uh, oh, after I still need to see the latest season. So uh, no spoilers. Let's see. I, I won't give you spoilers. I will just say, apropos of nothing, someone shared a clip from the most recent season. And if you know the clip, you know the clip. <laughs> um, uh, it, it, it's like episode one and it's very... Mm, uh, mm, mm, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm, you know. Mm, you know. Mm-hmm, um, and mm-hmm. I watched this clip not knowing anything, like not even knowing it was from the boys. Uh-huh. And th- that was my introduction to the show, so that that was where my expectation level was at. <laughs> uh, Rebecca Frost from Geek Show says it's a this show does a good job of reminding you that humans are just wet bags of meat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it really yep. does. It really does. Excellent oh. choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might have to do a Starlight cosplay because I really oh. enjoyed her. You would, oh, you'd be so cute as her. <laughs> She's super fun. Well, fun. I. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I enjoyed watching that, and now I'm all caught up on all three seasons, and I know where that clip comes from. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Excellent. Yep. <laughs> obviously i have been like out of commission for a while so i have been watching a lot and reading a lot and playing I-, I wish i could say i had gotten through like my backlog of video games but really i just played picross and animal crossing over and over and over and over oh my gosh but picross is so fun <laughs> it-, it is i beat all of the super mario picross oh um, that's amazing yeah a it was a lot it was a lot <laughs> <laughs> did that in about a week oh man <laughs> wow <laughs> that's impressive yeah, yeah. do they well, have speed runs for that does that count as like a speed know. run <laughs> i don't know um 
Like, I was not into Picross, and then Kame introduced me to it. So I blame Kame, because she showed me this one, and it's like Neko Atsume, if you ever played that game, where you just collect cats and they play around the house. But the more puzzles you solve, the more cats you get. Mm -hmm. So, like, Kame had been playing it for several months and had, like, probably gotten, like, 75 cats by then. Because you get a cat (laughs) for every, like, uh, gosh, I think for every, like, 100 puzzles you solve, you get a new cat. Mm -hmm. Um. And I messaged her about two weeks later and was like, I beat it all. Is there any more? <laughs> just, just problems. Oh, my God. On the Nintendo Addiction DS. Picross. On the Nintendo DS, what got me addicted to Picross was uh, uh, the Twilight Princess one that they did. <gasps> Where? Where? <laughs> Nintendo DS. Nintendo DS. No. Um, it's excellent. Uh, you'll fly oh, through it no. very quickly because there's not a ton oh, in no, it, but I did it's not so know good. This existed. Uh, I'm googling and then, it right now. <laughs> and then Pokemon Picross. Um, what? It's like a, a battle system. Like you battle the Pokemon while you're doing it, and you have to like form a team, and they give you different like. There's a timer, so you have to like finish within a certain time. Otherwise, yeah. like you have to start the puzzle over. It's excellent. The the Mario um, one is timed too. Uh, I wondered if they did the Mario one similar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's timed on it's Mario, but then you get Wario after you beat all of Mario's, and he just counts how long you take. He doesn't like go back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, "This is how long it took you. You're slow." <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Wario! <laughs> Why do I love that? <laughs> <laughs> well it was He's funny judging like, us all. i got the the mario one on um if you have a like nintendo subscription then it's one of those like free to play mm-hmm. uh because it's on like the snes i think so you okay. can go into their like game archive and play it but it's all in japanese but i was reading through it as you're doing all the puzzles and you get to like the final ones and you're having to do puzzles of like of Mario's face or his like shoes or whatever. (laughs) And then next you'll have to do the same thing for Wario. And you can tell it's from his POV because it'll be like, Ore Sama, no. Like he's talking about himself, like the great me's face, the great (laughs) me's shoes. And and then it'll be like that bleakity bleep uh guy's face <laughs> like, oh, i can tell who made this part of the game <laughs> oh i love it so much oh, yeah it was it made me laugh so oh it's amazing oh yeah so now i'll oh. have to go do all the twilight princess picross yes it's good uh, i, I don't it. know if you remember last time that we were doing this i talked about a game that i was playing called divinity oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah like, i was like oh candy <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I did finally finish the game, um, and I uh, I would love it if you would guess how long it took me to beat this game. Ooh, let's see. Like, hours-wise? Hours-wise, yes. Um, I'm going to guess 42 100 hours. hours. 42 hours and 100 hours. Well, Mercedes is closest. Wow. Um, because it took me 169 hours oh to beat this gosh. game. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so nice. long. And I love <laughs> it. Nice cities. Uh, I love every second of it. It oh, got nice. to the point where it's just like I was I was going through all of the endings cuz I was just like I love this. This is great. That <laughs> that one I couldn't make everyone happy, so we're going to do it again. And <laughs> My love interest in the game, like, I was so devoted. I was like, yes, this is, I love Lose. Lose is so great. And at the end, Lose was like, well, I'm going to go back to being an adventurer. Bye. Wait, no, I love you. Come back. <laughs> Don't leave me. Oh. Later. <laughs> Sad day. Sad day. The the same developers are making uh, Baldur's Gate 3, which has oh, been confirmed nice. to come out sometime next year. So mm-hmm. it's like D&D in the same system. And I'm very excited. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, what all y'all excited for that's coming up aside from uh, that game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
have any major plans as of yet. I would love to like get something done before the end of the year, but I am looking at patterns for uh, uh, now I know a Fuku for yeah. a, a Sailor Scout. Thank you so <gasps> much to uh, our past fan, fan, uh, fandom episodes. Um, oh yeah. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try and get uh sailor Freddie Mercury out of the way. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Do it. Uh, I am so here for this. <laughs> and, uh, true, true to my word. Uh, I've competed. I did it. I have a hundred percent track record. Probably mm-hmm. not going to compete this, this year with it. <laughs> You know, that is okay. As long as you're having fun and yeah. with a costume yeah. like that, I am sure you will bring people lots of enjoyment. <laughs> my boss <laughs> sure my boss at my work played Fortnite once against uh-huh. the teenagers that uh, uh, we work with, and he won. So he jokes with all of them that he has 100% uh, win rate on Fortnite, <laughs> and he'll never <laughs> play it again. <laughs> wow. Oh. So whenever the teenagers start talking about their their win rates, um, he's just like, "Well, mine's a hundred percent." What about you two? Are you working on any projects or anything along those lines? Something that you're looking forward to? Mm. I do want to try to finish those two I mentioned before, Weibushan and Kongiku, before the end of the year. Um, okay, I was like surprised when out of nowhere not out of nowhere um i saw yaya han- <laughs> sorry david i saw yaya han had tweeted about cosplaying one of my favorite characters from the chinese novels i read <laughs> um she's cosplaying chu waning um mm-hmm. but like a female version and um i was like oh i was planning to do that one soon <laughs> but like the male version um and I was just like shook to my core because it's not usually. <laughs> I I had gone back on her page and been like, oh, she's also into the Chinese novels that I read, and it was just kind of this. I I know they're gaining popularity, and I've seen it a little more at conventions, but it was just kind of this like pow of like it is getting more mainstream, and I was like, holy crap, that's cool. That's so amazing. <laughs> yeah. So now I have to finish Chu Aning. Um, yeah uh let's see what else did i want to do i need to like reevaluate after i have finished putting my craft room together because i keep pulling pieces out and going oh i haven't finished tifa and i haven't finished tubi and i really want to do both of those so yeah i i'm I'm really excited for you and i can't wait to see like because every time that you like do even like i just kind of did this on a whim it's just like oh that's that's like professional grade every single time. So like, <laughs> just, it's, I'm blown away. Aw, thank you. Um, I was really excited to do Tubi, and then my excitement kind of waned. But then I saw these new outfits they got for one of the like re-releases for Nier Automata. Mm-hmm. And they have like these really pretty Japanese clothing. And I might have to do that because it's really cute. Did you see in Nier Automata, like the whole community got like, overturned recently because somebody was doing oh, yeah, like I did. they did like a, a quick like hey here's where i'm playing and it was in a room that no one has ever seen before mm-hmm. and it's been out for like seven years now yeah oh my goodness um i followed that and apparently it was just like a really good fake was it a fake <gasps> yeah oh, yeah apparently what? it was a fake and i was like because it was so believable and i was like I have to go back and play it now. And now I'm like, oh, ah. oh, oh wow. They got oh. me good. They got me good. They got, they got everybody. The whole, the whole subreddit was up in arms of like every day that I come onto the subreddit, my life is drained from my eyes. Because <laughs> no. I thought I found everything. <laughs> Cause there was this thing from one of the, supposedly from one of the, uh, like people who worked on that part of the game and they were like angrily like I have been waiting so long for someone to freaking find that and <laughs> <laughs> can't believe it took you guys this long oh man what about you Mercedes the drifter is my main goal right now I mean I've still got Sabriel in the back um, but uh, I think I can only do one at a time right now <laughs> good planning that is smart yeah yeah, just with time and everything and work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm very excited. So if anyone wants to become like our, our, 
our Patreon sugar daddy and just like take care of us. Uh, I'll, set, <laughs> I'll set up the new tier on Patreon tomorrow. Like you don't even need to like blink. I'll set that up. We'll all quit our jobs and we'll just make content full time. Oh, wouldn't that be the dream? <laughs> That's oh, the dream. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that would be amazing. What that would about be you, David? Incredible. What are you working on? Um, so like I said, I'm looking for a Fuku. Um, oh, duh. Pattern. Oh, sorry, David. Uh, we can delete that. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk more about my projects. What do you like? Come on, do it. Um, I'm I'm still working on like the last voice. Um, I'm getting oh, yeah. ready to start writing for season three. Um, awesome. at this point, like, am I okay to talk spoilers? Am I, it, yeah. Okay. Um, I think so, it's been long enough. Yeah. Like, oh we're, yeah. We're, we're like a few, like a few good weeks into season two of the Last Voice, so I'm so sorry. Skip ahead if if you want to avoid spoilers. Um, but uh, I've since. Quinn was here. We were able to record in person because she plays the other voice at the end of season one. Um, so we were able to to knock out all of the recording, and now I just have to edit it down, and that's just like Dang. makes my job so easy. That's um, so cool. And I've been so excited to get like every time that I sit down and edit a, another episode, it's just like I can't wait to have more people listen to this. Um, and it, it just legitimately it brings joy to my heart every time that an episode goes out because it's like I don't know any of you like I don't do social media for it because I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of mm. what I was trying to uh, accomplish. And it's just like this this community of people who can constantly uh, reliably listen to something and then just kind of like there's nothing else. I don't know what it is about it that I just I love so much about it. It is weird to explain. <laughs> no, I think that's great. I'm that glad you're staying so true to your aesthetic, though. I think that's really good. Thank you. So, yeah, that's that's more about me. I love talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. I was like, unfortunately, well. I'm just kind of boring right now because I've been just working and you got sick with COVID and that's like it. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, like, you know... Uh, how to code something in Sonic Pi? I can do that now. <laughs> Ooh, nice. how, how did your um AI programming go? Uh, you no program AI programming. Oh, oh yes, that is still also on the back burner. You guys, okay? Let's say you look at like my uh, was it proverbial oven of projects? Uh -huh. Yeah, stove top. Stove top. There we go. I've got it. <laughs> the back burner is like piled high. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's doing its best. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, the robot, I still have the robot. I know how to code it now. Um, wirelessly connecting to it has been a pain in the butt. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm figuring out how to work it and all that stuff. Um but uh, yeah, robot is still kind of coming along again on the back burner. But I've learned a lot about coding in the time being. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. good. I'm very excited when I can like I've got the pattern for the this is for the Terraco project for those who are like mm -hmm. what's Mercedes talking about? Um, mm -hmm. uh, Terraco from Hyrule Warriors. Uh, I have the pattern and I think I finally sized it to the size that I want to. This was like in January that I did this. <laughs> um, and then I was like at work, like while I was teaching kids, I was like taping pieces together because <laughs> I was so excited. Oh. Um, and that's as far as it got. Uh, but yeah, I'm like really excited to put that one together. I've got a lot of sculpting ideas for the details and to make his little hat go up and down like a cute little robot do. So nice. Yeah. That's I love it. That is cool. Like I, uh, got into what was it Code Academy a while back? Oh yeah, and mm -hmm. like that was all I did for like a week straight was play with the different uh, classes you can do on there for free. Mm -hmm. Um, just to be like, oh some yeah, I remember stuff. some of this. Yeah, yeah. So super fun. Yeah. yeah now yeah. now I'm writing uh, Unity projects to be done uh -huh. in a month. <laughs> Ooh, dang. I love give yourself myself. such deadlines. <laughs> I know. Ah, Goodness ah, sakes. Ah, what happened I swear to I love easier myself. on yourself this year? <laughs> I don't know what happened. 
Uh-huh. There was a plan, uh-huh. and I walked the other way. <laughs> I know what. Yeah, <laughs> I know what happened. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Well, <laughs> it's been fun. Yes. Um, let's see. Yeah. Anything else? I'm trying to think of what else is coming up that I'm like super excited about, but I think all of my brain is still in boxes, like the house is. Um. <laughs> um, if you want some fantastic representation, go check out Miss Marvel on Disney Plus. Um, super freaking cute, fantastic family dynamic that is just kind of like a ooh, this this is frustrating as a teenager, but as as an adult, you're sitting there like no, but like Kamala, listen to your mother, like please, <laughs> your mother for like five seconds, please. Uh-huh. Um, it's like that whole like difference between like you know being a kid and an adult is uh, who you relate to in Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, to, to, quote, to quote the show, it's one of those things where it's just kind of like, hey, we could use more brown girls from Jersey as as icons on TV, right? Like, oh, definitely. We, mm-hmm. we, we, we have the opportunity to really make an impact. And if we can have more representation on the screen, uh, I at least me personally, I am devoted to, like, try and seek it out and put hmm. more eyes on it. So go check out Miss Marvel. And then um, while you're watching Miss Marvel uh, in, like, probably in a few days... Uh, another episode of, of She-Hulk Attorney at Law will come out. So go check that out. Ooh. I knew that one was coming, but I didn't know it was out already. Is Have you seen the first episode? Uh, the, as of the time of this recording, it comes out in two days. Okay, um, you can But when this will come then. out, there will be like two weeks worth. I was like, I haven't seen any memes or anything to show it's out. <laughs> nope, not yet. But we're getting there. <laughs> time travel. Weep, 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 weep. <laughs> I am oh oh you know what else is coming up and I am so here for oh. um two things actually one JoJo's part six yes <laughs> the next section <laughs> yes yes we need more Jolene um is coming out September sixth um so that's coming right up and then the other one that just barely got announced is the animated series for B and Puppy Cat. Oh, yes. Yeah, you guys watched that back in the day, but I love me yes. some being puppy cat. So Lexus told me about that the other day, and I about like just oh my gosh, I was like really oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I am I am so stoked. Like being puppy cat is like one of my favorite things ever. Um, uh, yes, a wise decision. <laughs> yep. Oh oh, I've been watching harley quinn season oh, yeah. the next one and it's season so the next good. one season the next one i think it's season two but my brain's fried right now um, i don't know whatever the latest one is i've seen the nice. first three episodes and i love it season nice. three uh is what's yes. coming out right now excellent uh, season three i love it so much it it definitely feels like a covid production like it doesn't have like the high <laughs> Uh, of it all but like i'm really digging it it's so much fun it's uh, so adult (laughs) it's so so quotable and so like just bust your sides laughing at the dark jokes like small children don't watch it adults it's great yeah Uh Uh one one of my favorite characters is is bane um and so much so that, oh, like, Bane. Bane in this show is so adorable that he has a hang in there kitty poster, but instead of a cat, it's him. I bought that poster. It's hanging up in my house right now. It's Bane <laughs> hanging out a branch, and he's sitting there all cute, like, just oh my hang gosh. in there. <laughs> I just love how they, like, went right past the B grade, C grade, all the way down to, like, Kite Man, and made him so adorable and like (laughs) i love him and he's just oh my gosh like the things they do in that show are amazing and just the hilarity of all these heroes and villain well villains mostly there's batman Uh he's there (laughs) crying (laughs) Uh oh man yeah highly recommend harley quinn for adults adults yes nice i'm i managed to catch like an episode and a half when Hina was watching it the other day and it was when the uh, it was it was the one with the hand that got detached from um <laughs> what's the butt? Clayface. 
Yes, Clayface. Um, <laughs> and it was, I was like, that's SpongeBob's voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was evidence. <laughs> <laughs> but the humor is just so good in that. I, I definitely need to actually go back and watch it all. Clayface it's is one amazing. of my favorites to like redo his voice purely because it's just it is i clay face <laughs> and when it's i was watching so the, dramatic <laughs> this the snyder cut um of justice league and aquaman appears on the page there's a there's a scene that jumped to my mind of harley quinn when Clayface dresses up as uh, as aquaman and it goes oh it is God. i aquaman <laughs> and I, just, I had to say that out loud and it was just, it, it was the highlight of the entire film for me all four hours was me <laughs> quoting a different dc property in that show. <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing oh well oh, excellent it has been also very her, oh sorry last one last one okay. uh the sh- shark shark guy i love him i love him so much <laughs> pink shark yes mm-hmm. he i didn't is... want to say i told you so but i i, I will uh, i told you so <laughs> would you look at that it's not that bad of a look on me oh my God. <laughs> he's so cute and so kind until there's blood <laughs> <laughs> excellent oh um, okay it has been delightful catching up with y'all yes um do we have any horror stories sent in horror stories spooky 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 we have one on the discord excellent this one comes from trough cause uh back in april so sorry this is late uh but we've had guests and you know We've wanted to make sure they got their horror stories out, too. So Trafkaz writes, This one doesn't involve me, but it was both a horror and joy to witness. So I really do want to tell this either way. Uh, Every summer I go to what is best described as a mostly outdoor nerd festival. It's held at a university campus a bit outside of the city. And thanks to the amount of people attending this festival, the city makes sure extra bus departures are put on the usual routes to make sure both attendees and regular people will be able to get where they need to be. So my friend and I got on the bus that was packed with other cosplayers and particularly one cosplayer stood out with his giant plywood and foam sword. Ooh. The bus was Ooh. so full. Him and most of the others had to stand. Everything went well until one of the very last stops before the festival. As someone stepped off the bus, the giant sword fell over. (gasps) The the guy who made it did catch it, but it was too late. The bus doors closed shut around the sword and promptly (gasps) broke it in half. A collective gasp went through the bus and every single person turned quiet as they witnessed the horror. Oh my god! The doors opened again, and the cosplayer managed to retrieve the pieces. But as soon as he did, everyone around him offered their apologies and tried to help fix it, even though it was a horrible moment. It really showed just how much cosplayers know and appreciate the work that goes into the things we make. And the scene made me really happy. Cosplayers wow. band together, yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, Dang, that sucks, but so good that there was, like, a support system to be like, let me help. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, man. Excellent story. <sighs> yeah, yeah, thank thanks you so for much, Frank that. Oz, for sending that in. Yeah. Also, y'all... I think they won a competition recently. Um, oh, dang, yeah, congrats. that's right. Uh, let me look at, because uh, we have a, a promote yourself and just a hype channel. Um, yeah. They won, they got champion master craftsmanship Holy in crap. Torocon. So congratulations, oh, cool. Cool. Shout out. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> well, if y'all have any like fun, exciting news or horror stories or anything you'd like to share with us, as always, you can do that at cosplaystitchandseam at gmail.com or... Or you can fill out our contact forms at cosplaystitchandseam.com or... Go to the Facebook page and let us know your thoughts there. We would love to hear what you are working on, and you can do that by joining our communities, either on Facebook or on Discord. We've been talking about them both. They are a fantastic place to see what other people are working on. Um, And while you're on the internet, if you would like to help out the show, uh, you can leave a review, much like uh, Kitsune's underscore cosplays wrote um, and said, love the podcast, and I have it playing when I work 
on my cosplay all the time. Thank you for an epic podcast. Oh, um, thank so you. So thank you, Kitsunes. We really appreciate any review. Um, so if anyone, if you feel like you want to give a shout, get a shout out on the show, leave us a review and let me know if you've left one and I'm missing it because I will happily make sure that you get that shout out. And while you're on the internet, if you want to support the show, you can definitely do that by going to Coffee, KOFI, Cosplay Stitch, as well as our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Cosplay Stitch. Some of the amazing people that we need to thank are Tim Yauk, Foxchild, Trough Cause, Lydia, Rose Does, Livy Cheney, Yggdrasil, Dr. Steggy, PB and James, Cynics, Hot Riku, Renamira, Jazzy Kofed, Jaguar Quinn, Gloria Shu, Sudi, Shock H, and Silver, Silver Leaves. Oh yeah, thank you guys so much. We love supporting local cosplayers and cosplayers all over the world. Uh, our favorite here is uh, foxbeauty.store, whose shop you can always check out for amazing makeup. Uh, you can use that promo code Stitch and Seam to get 10% off your purchase of all vegan, not tested on animal products. Thanks as always to Macy Roberts for the use of her music as our theme song and David Jeffress for his amazing editing. How are your podcasts going, David? They are going so great. Comic Trades Monthly, where we talk about your favorite comic book collection in a book club format. Uh, we covered Brandon Sanderson's Dark One, and this coming month we are uh, talking about Tresse, which is kind of like a femme Dresden Files, but set Heck in the yeah. Philippines. Um, so an opportunity to learn about different cultures, folklore, and I'm very excited about that. Um, and while you are waiting for the next month, you have uh, a whole season and a half of The Last Voice uh all ready for you so go check that out if you enjoy an audio drama kind of like a radio play um so go check that out if you enjoy drama and um sometimes a little bit scariness uh it's it's, it's a good time go go check that out yay, yay. <sighs> <clears throat> so i have to prepare for these awful puns <laughs> <laughs> do so, it do it <laughs> i mean Moving into a, a new home, I, I relate with this one because this guy walks into his home, realizes all his lamps are stolen, and he was delighted. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bye, guys. man. Bye. Lights out.